Good morning. We finally have snow. Happy Sunday, 24th of January. We finally have snow. Kids are waking up. We will go straight outside, get them in. It's, it's been, I've been flirting with the idea and saying it every day. Like, you know, I've checked the weather. Oh, it could snow tomorrow. It could snow tomorrow. It's literally now the 24th of January. It's probably said, I've probably said it about six times. So I've gone up there and gone, yeah, if it's snowing, we'll get some snowballs, just lowering expectations of it. I've looked outside and for the first time we've got settled snow, which I'm really excited about. Imagine if we procrastinate like that snow. Anyway, morning, Diana. Speaking of procrastination, speaking of getting things done, sometimes this is because we just set huge expectations, expectations that maybe we set ourselves from our perfect time, from that perfect day that we set back when I used to do this. Morning, Barbara. Give me a hello if you're coming in. Let me know you are watching live as well or on replay. So, you know, we often look back at the perfect time and look what you're doing then and compare it to then. Oh, there's now no point of doing an hour. There's no now point of doing um, anything less than an hour because I used to do this hours class. I used to do this 45 minute class. And I just want you to consider this. This is a really simple strategy to do that just helps simplify things down a bit. Reminds us that one is better than zero, that you don't have to be perfect to progress. And and this is this is this is this essentially. If you had if you had 15 minutes to focus on your week this week, what would you do in terms of food, fitness? and self-care. If you had 15 minutes, so let's say you invest 15 minutes a day this week, what would those tasks be? So what this allows you to do is, let's say fitness, this could be, you could dedicate 15 minutes to a workout and be done with that if that's your most important thing, because when you focus on one thing, you don't have to focus on everything. When you focus on one thing, you don't have to focus on everything. What I mean by this is, for me, for example, if I get my exercise in, I tend to have a better day, tend, tend to have more energy, tend to get more stuff done. I could also go down the sleep route. If I get to bed by 10, by 10 p.m., then I tend to have a better day the day after. I tend to have more energy, more motivation. Those things, the one thing in isolation, if I focus on one of them things, everything else kind of falls into place. And this is what this question allows us to do. So this is about looking at, okay, if I have to invest 15 minutes, how would I spread it in? So it could be that you do five minutes going, well, I'm going to make sure I've got pre-cut vegetables and fruit today out on the side so that I know when I get a bit tired, when I'm snacking, I can go to them. It could be that I'm going to get a one minute workout with Matt, which we're going to do now. It could be that I meditate for one minute. What would you do? What's the most important things for you? And this just cuts through, you know, if you think homeschooling, working from home, all these things that have come up, it doesn't have to be perfect. And you start with that one minute and the significance of that might be that then tomorrow you go, actually, I can do three of them. I can do them every time I go to the kettle today. I can do them every time I walk under the door frame. <laughs> like, think how many times you walk under a door frame. <laughs> it sounds wacky, but you start to snack exercise, get it in. And all of a sudden you start to build momentum. I do a set of exercise at the start of every day and this just knows I've now got one already, one under my belt. If I start getting a few in throughout the day, all of a sudden throughout the day I've got 10 in, I would have never have done a workout. I, I just wouldn't do a workout. I won't do like a 40 minute workout myself. Just just won't happen. Not because I'm choosing not to, but because it's more productive for my time just to get it in, in and around, kids, etc. Otherwise I'll be going, oh, I'll get that 40 minute workout in an hour. Actually, I better do that first, then I'll get it in. I never start it. That's just me. So join me now for a one minute workout. Let's go. This is going to be really simple, low impact, nice and easy. Just to get your body moving a little bit. So, if you're listening to this, obviously it's going to be difficult. So you can switch off now or try and mimic what we're doing. So shoulders back, chest nice and high. Make sure the bum is back in here. We're just going to come down a little bit into a squat position. Tiny little bit. Go as deep as you feel comfortable on in here. So we're going to come down five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. One, go down as deep as you feel comfortable, remember. Then you're just gonna start punching forward. Bring the elbows back, just start punching forward. One, two, one, two. Make sure the elbows come back, you're not doing this. The elbows are actually coming back on here. And just start to speed it up a little bit. Keep the chest nice and high so your legs are working. And it's amazing just how quickly you can change your state by moving. 
It's amazing just how quickly you can change your state by moving and that will impact how you react to certain situations today. How you feel, your energy levels. We're now gonna start adding in a hook, okay? So this time we go punch, punch, hook, hook and round. Punch, punch, hook, hook. Punch, punch, hook, hook. Punch, punch, hook, hook. Five seconds here, then we're gonna bring it all together for a finisher. And that's it there, done. You could do that every time the kettle boils today. All of a sudden you're like off tea and coffee. <laughs> Let's go. Now we're gonna bring it together. So we're gonna come up, chest nice and high, back, bum back, dig the heels in the floor. I come down, three, two, one. I come up, punch, punch, hook, hook. Three, two, one. I come up, punch, punch, hook, hook. Down, punch, punch, hook, hook. Down, punch, punch, hook, hook. Job done. So, comment below what you've done this. Give me a hello if you're coming in. That's how simple it can be. Don't wanna squat? Don't squat, just keep with the punches. That's absolutely fine. Go at your level, this is you versus you. We say it all the time. You, the moment you drop into that, oh, they're better than me, they, they can do this, what's the point, that's pointless. Add up all those times you say that. Add up all those times you say, what's the point in doing that? Guarantee, in isolation, they're, they are pointless, <laughs> seemingly. You add them all up together and it's like, oh, what's the point of doing that one minute workout then, 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 then. That's now a 10 minute workout for the day. Imagine if I told you to do 70 minutes workouts a week, all of a sudden, you're like, wow, that's two 35-minute workouts. Will you ever get that in? Like I said, 40-odd-minute workout never happens for me. It starts to add up. It starts to add up. Build that momentum. Start small. doesn't have to be perfect to start. you just got to get started. Then you'll see how your body responds. Hope that helps. Any questions, as always, let me know. If you want more information about our Kickstart, do send me a message. Enjoy the, enjoy the snow. Any questions, just reach out. Speak soon.